Good evening and welcome to DL Physics and today I'm going to talk about nuclear fission. So nuclear fusion is the process of two atoms coming together and fusing to make a new atom and in that process they're going to release energy. This is the idea that a an atom become, become unstable, you can do that by firing too many neutrons off it, and that atom decaying into smaller atoms which in turn release energy. So this idea of nuclear fission is the process of an atom decaying into smaller daughter nuclei. So these are the things that are released to release energy. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give an example of unstable uranium-238 decaying into thorium and an alpha particle and releasing energy. So what I have here is I've got two bits of information. And the reason I'm going to do it this way is because this is important to understand when we do equations, okay, uh, that the example may give us uh, in U, they may give it in MEV, and I'm just showing you can do it in both. So here I've got uranium-238 is got an atomic mass unit of 238.0508U, uh, and per nucleon has 7.57 mega electron volts per nucleon. I've done that for every set of information. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how to solve how much energy is released using either the binding energy or the uh, mass deficit. So the first one I'm going to do is the mass deficit. So on this side of my equation, I have 238.058U going to 234.0436U plus 4.0026U plus my question mark. So if I add those two together here, I end up with 234.046 plus 4.0026, and I end up with an answer of 238.0486U plus my question mark is 238.0508U. And as you can see here, I'm missing some mass. So I'm going to find out what that is by taking this, take away that. So I've got 238.0508 minus that. My question mark is 2.2 times 10 to the minus 3U. And I can convert that into joules. Okay, I'm going to do that using um, e equals mc squared today. So... 1u is 1.661 times 10 to the minus 27, okay? So this equals 3.6542 times 10 to the minus 30 kilos. And I'm going to use E equals mc squared to get my energy. So times that by 3 times 10 to the 8 times that 3 times 10 to the 8, and I get an energy at 3.29 times 10 to the minus 13 joules is being emitted for this reaction. So this is how much energy using mass deficit. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the binding energy information that I've also been given. Okay, so I'm going to write the equation again. I've got uranium-238 plus thorium... <laughs> decays into thorium-234 plus an alpha particle plus my energy here. So I've been given the information per nucleon, so I actually have to convert this into uh, actually how much in total I have. So this one's going to be 238 times by 7.57 goes to 234 times 7.6 plus 4 times 7.1 plus my energy. Okay, so I've got 238 times 7.57. I've got 2142.31. Okay, MEV goes to 234 times 7.6, 1778.4. Okay, and just making sure of that one. Yep, and plus 4 times 7.1. 28.4. Okay, here. So just double checking that one. 238 times 7.57. Oh, that's wrong there. I don't know why it looked a bit strange. The reason I knew it looked a bit strange was because this number was bigger. My products were smaller than my reactants, and that shouldn't work. 
this number on this side, if you're using binding energy, should be smaller than this side. And I was very confused looking at it going, this looks a bit strange. So it's just me putting numbers into the calculator wrong. Okay. So I do apologise for that, but that there is my 238 times 7.57. So adding that side together, I have 1778.4 plus 28.4 is 106.1806.8 and this side is 1801.66 MeV okay so there's a difference and as you can see my reactants have a, my products have a much bigger binding energy than my reactants so I'm going to find out how much that is so minus 1801.66 uh, I get out to a 5.14 MeV one point ten to the six, one point six times ten to the minus nineteen, and I get an answer of eight point two two times ten to the minus thirteen. There, okay. So two, three, four times seven point six. Just making sure that one. Yeah. Okay. So this is how many joules I have on this one here. Now I've got a slight discrepancy with this. Okay. So this is information that I have garnered from uh, graphs before. And of course, I'm talking about uh, this part of the graph here. So this is information I've garnered from the internet. So 238 is 757 mega electron volts. Okay. Um, 234, 7.6. So what I've done is I've times them there here. The maths is right. My products are much bigger than my reactants. Okay. So my products have a bigger binding energy. But the number I'm getting here is in the right region of this. Okay. Um, is in the right region of that. Uh, it's like 10 to the minus 13, but the number's too big. And this might be to do with discrepancies with my numbers that I were given. However, in an exam, you will not be given both. You'll be given either the atomic mass number or you will be given the binding energy per nucleon. And the answer would be dictated by that. Okay. So in this case, um, though the process has uh, gone through, the, the important information to take from this is the idea of how you set it up, okay? So this here is using the atomic mass units, and this here is using the binding energy per nucleon. But it's, again, the rules are the same. My binding energy per nucleon must have a bigger product than reacting. The whole idea is that what's happened is the strong nuclear force has increased. And what this, if you notice, with nuclear fusion, when I got bigger, my strong nuclear force increased, so I had energy release. But with nuclear fission, I have to go smaller. And this is actually bringing us back to this graph here, okay, that this side of the graph here, my binding energy is increasing, which means my strong nuclear force is increasing, which means more energy is going to be released. So this side, I get it by getting a bigger nuclear number, and that is through nuclear fusion. This side, the only way that I get a bigger binding energy per nucleon, or total binding energy, is by nuclear fission, by splitting it apart. Because the whole idea is you need your products to have a bigger, uh, bigger binding energy than your reactants in total. And that there is nuclear fission.